Hello, today I want to talk about skincare during autumn winter time. So what happens with came post summer, your skin's had lovely, maybe sunshine, you've been outside a lot more and um, getting the fresh air. And now we're into this time of year when it's getting colder um, and we've got the central heating on, the air conditioning units are changed, everything's changed because we want it warmer because the temperature has dropped outside. Mm -hmm. And this is affecting our skin, right? So when you think about it, it's just simply that inside your offices or home, the humidity in the air is less. There is not the same amount of moisture in the air. That's how sometimes you can feel when you're sitting in the office, your skin starts to heat up. You can feel that in the home as well. If you've got that central heating cracked up a lot, you can feel your skin heating up a bit and it's just your skin needs to breathe in air and moisture from the air all the time. And that's what you need to realize. So if there's not a lot of moisture in the air, we have got to change up our skincare to compensate for that. Okay, so how do we do that? What you're needing to think about is the ingredients that you're using just now and the formulations and thinking about really the formulations should be maybe thicker and richer. So whereas in the summertime, you could have got away with a gel water type of lotion going on as your moisturizer. Now, autumn, winter, you need to up the ante a bit, right? So you're thinking about a richer lotion, um, a thicker lotion, and even a cream. If you've got very dry skin, looking at creams that are gonna comfort the skin. And it's the same for cleansers. Now is the time to make sure you're not using a cleanser that after you use the cleanser, does your skin feel tight? If it feels tight, you need to change that cleanser too. Yes, you do. So we're thinking about formulations. Now I want you to understand this a little bit more in that I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So this is a, a lotion here, a nice lightweight hyaluronic type lotion. Okay, and when we apply this lotion into your skin, it's going to get absorbed quite quickly. Now, there's two things you can do here, right? Apply it on your skin after you've cleansed onto clean skin and let it absorb for a few minutes. Okay, and then see how that feels. How does that feel on the skin? Is there anywhere on your skin where the skin is still feeling tight? Okay, now if that happens and the skin is feeling tight, wait till that's completely absorbed onto your skin and then simply apply more. This has got hyaluronic acid as a main ingredient. So I quite like doing this, quite like doing this. So I applied more. Right, now that's me put on double moisturization and that is the way to go. So I've put that on and I'm good to go. I've got a combination skin and usually that is enough for me. So you've got drier skin than me. You've got normal to dry skin and even extremely dry skin. Is that going to be enough for you? I really need you to think about this because if you get very dry skin, there's a chance that you are prone to letting your skin dry out so that you're losing your own moisturization. This is called trans epidermal water loss. So how do we prevent that? So I still believe that a humectant, which hyaluronic acid is, is a good, a good ingredient to use because it draws moisture from the air, but also you can apply this type of moisturizer and then get an oil serum type moisturizer on top. So you've let it absorb your first one and it's a good idea to get these oil serums. These are great things because they act as an occlusive and they prevent any moisture loss happening and it feels great. You usually don't need a lot of these oil moisturizer serums. So you can put that on top and let that absorb. It feels lovely on. That's a great thing to do. And I like when I go outside if I'm running outside or walking the dog, if I'm generally outside for quite a while, I really like putting this, this one on. So an oil serum, if you've got that normal to dry skin, it's all about the formulation and making it rich. So that's all to do with there's less moisture in the air. And not only that, you have to think about when we're going outside, right now there is more pollution in the winter time, autumn, winter time is more pollution in the air. 
and you need to protect it. But I need you to think about the moisturisation is so important because the trouble happens when you actually lose your protective barrier. The, this, your own lipid barrier that you've got on your skin that protects your skin, right? If that gets dried out at all, then we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So that's why I need you to think about what is the correct, how much moisturiser and should you go for an oil serum. I also like using, you know, hyaluronic acid, squalene as an ingredient, glycerine is another one. These are humectants. Glycerine is another humectant that actually draws moisture from the air onto your skin. So hyaluronic acid, squalene, glycerine, ceramides, you know, your own natural moisturisation that you make up and it goes on to the outside surface. These, that's a mixture of your own ceramides. It's another name for your own ceramides, but ceramides is like an oil type structure, if you like. So anything with ceramides in it, and not just about those ingredients, but also the skin immune system coming in now. The skin immune system is going to suffer, just like if you, you're more prone to catching the cold, aren't you? Right, so your body immune system needs looked after and your skin immune system is the same thing. So it's also this time to think about antioxidants, right? That great, those great powerful antioxidants and actually thinking about them as an ingredient. So looking for the word antioxidant rich creams on your bottles. I quite like the resveratrol one. Mm -hmm. Resveratrol for me, I have it in a lotion here. And I really do, I like this idea of applying this as a night cream too. So this is like a stronger, more ingredient, antioxidant rich type moisturizer and cream like. There's resveratrol in this. So looking for that in other lotions and potions, the resveratrol is a very strong antioxidant that keeps skin as young and fresh looking as possible. It repairs damage. This is an ingredient that was taken from the skins of um, red grapes so you have it in red grapes and basically it acts like an environmental protector so it protects the grape and this is what the scientists found about resveratrol it protects the grape from external environmental factors and it's the same for your skin so using a product with resveratrol in it is a great idea right so also, I have to tell you, you get resveratrol in a glass of red wine. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> I know some of you will be thinking, mm, I feel better about drinking my glass of red wine now. Well, they say that, do they? A glass of red wine keeps the doctor away. <laughs> so another thing we keep talking about is SPF. Yep, yep. Just now you think there's clouds in the sky. How, why should I still keep wearing a sunscreen now? I've done what you've said. Joe, and I wore the sunscreen, the SPF, all through the summer. Why am I still having to wear it now? Because 80% of the UV rays are still penetrating the clouds. So if you go out without sunscreen, it's like going out with bare skin with no SPF protection. So thinking about that, you have to get into the SPF habit all year round. Uh-huh, all year round. So SPF protection is the last thing you'll put on your skin really key for those of us wearing makeup and um, foundation i need you to even look for makeups and foundations that contain spf and i truly believe that in you know just a matter of a few years all makeups all foundations all eyeshadows everything will have spf and i'm pretty sure that's going to happen yes you've heard it here first so body care this is a bit where you should be thinking it's coming into this time. You need some pampering for the body. And this is, your body is going to love you if you do this. It will. So get one of those body brushes. Okay. And a good thing to do is you want to stimulate the circulation. It's so important to get the blood around the body. So, you know, we're thinking that we're looking after our face, but we forget that there's skin all over your body and we have to look after it. Oh, we do. So a body brush, give that body brush, do it on dry skin. And I know that sounds really brush dry skin. Yes, it's called dry brushing as well. So brush your skin 
okay that is improving the circulation and you know along with the circulation is the lymph drainage system the lymph drainage system is where i call these pac-men they're not really called pac-men but they're called macrophages these guys eat up rubbish and they take away everything to the lymph so there's pac-men in the lymph that are eating up all the bad stuff and taking it away and you want to stimulate that too yes you do so the circulation and moving the lymph along and the body brushing does that. So taking time to do that before you go into the shower. So try and think about it's your Sunday night ritual or your Saturday during the day ritual where you're going to take time looking after that body. Definitely try to do this exfoliation process once a week. You know, it seems that in the winter because we're putting on layers and layers that we're holding the dead skin onto our body. We are. So get the dry brush out. Do that before you go into the shower. Or if you don't fancy the dry brushing, you can try a really nice skin scrub. Mm -hmm. Get the skin scrub, massage it all over, taking time. Maybe add a little bit of water to it to make it more manageable. And do that onto dry skin. Yes dry skin you're trying to stimulate the, the circulation and feed the skin tissue then jump into the shower okay shower off all that dead skin now i am telling you when you come out quickly 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 dry yourself okay and onto damp skin apply 100 percent organic coconut oil I love that stuff. That is so good for you. So 100% natural organic coconut oil. The trick, the, trick, the trick is to have the coconut oil heating because it's solid at room temperature. You have to have it heating in a basin of um, hot water to make it liquid and then massage that all over your body. Oh my God, your body is going to love you. Yes. And then if it's a Sunday night, jump into those cosy jammies. How good is that? Or you can have a lazy Saturday, you know, put the jammies on after that. Get the Netflix up. Mm -hmm. You can. So that's about the body. Now, the last thing is the hands. OK, we should never forget about the hands because this is a time of year when this these crack here, the skin cracks, they feel red, sore. Oh, it's just not good. And I am here to tell you, you don't need to go through that. The first thing you've got to do is check what you're using to wash your hands with. Right. So thinking about that, I do like Dove soap, the actual bar of soap, because that's pH balanced and it doesn't cause dryness over the body either. So checking, are you using any of those um, hygienic hand sprays? Because they are extremely drying to the hand. I have to tell you, they are. So looking for soap-free type of hand washes was, is key here and sodium laurel sulfate free, so SLS free. Look for that and start using pH balanced stuff for your hands to wash them because you don't want to dry them out anymore. You have to keep this, you know, this protective barrier intact on the hands and that's the key here because we obviously wash our hands a lot more. So. We're going to do that check what we're using to wash the hands and then you're going to apply hand cream morning and night and after every time you wash if you could do that i swear that will make such a difference if you do that every single time you wash your hands put some hand cream on get into that habit the hand cream habit carry some in your bag carry some in the car that's what i do <laughs> but right that is a quick way to stop it all happening but say you want to treat yourself, okay? There is these moisturising gloves that you can get online. Check them out, Google this information. But moisturising gloves that you can buy online. And another great way to do this is to sit, get the Netflix on, have your hands all nice and clean and put these moisturising gloves on. Now they feel like jelly inside, they do. At first you think, mm, it feels a bit funny, but when you put these gloves on, they're, I mean, you're, you look quite as if you've got fat fingers with them on, but honestly, leave them on for an hour, take them off and I, your hands will feel amazing. Honestly, they'll feel great, nourished and soft and really, really moisturised. So, how good is that? 
I hope you have a great time this weekend. I hope that you will look after your skin autumn and winter and realise we've got to do a little bit more work for it. If you really have got any problems with your skin, you really just need to comment below or email me, joan at glformulations.com and I will answer your questions. The one final pro tip I need you to think about is this is a time of year where we are not shedding our skin as much on the face too. So in the summer, your skin comes off at a much quicker rate, your dead skin. Now it's the time where you really need to do exfoliation, albeit gently. Exfoliation is this pro tip, okay? You really need to be doing that once a week to keep the skin in tip-top condition. Okay, thank you for listening to me. Please subscribe to me on my YouTube channel, that would be great. And hit the notification button so you get notified when there's a, maybe something else clever I want to tell you about. Thank you so much for listening.